man. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Liberty Life Lessons. This will be episode number 54. The song I'm going to be teaching you is a song from the intro, and that's called Save the Day by Sticky Fingers. I've been wanting to do a Sticky Fingers song for a long time. This one just came out a couple weeks ago. They're about to come out with a brand new album. This one was requested by Regan Top. A bunch of you all have requested Sticky Fingers in the past, so I'm just not getting around to it. So there's a lot of layers in this song. There's a lot going on in the production. So I'm just gonna show you guys some chords that you can play along with and loop. And I'm also gonna show you guys the lead lick on my Strat. Actually, it's Freddie Krabs playing it on the piano and I transposed it to guitar. So I'll show you guys just some fun licks that you can play over those chords. Um, just a handful of chords, really pretty easy. So without further ado, let's go on and get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you guys the chords, right? Actually, the song is gonna start right here on the 16th fret of the A string. And I'm just gonna hit that note and slide all the way down. Like that, and then give it a quick go strum. So just put your hands on the strings and strum up, down really quickly. And he'll actually do it again, and he'll go kind of like that. And then we're into the first chord, which is gonna be this D sus2. That's how I'm playing it anyway. Like I said, there's a bunch of layers and in the music video it looks like Seamus is actually playing this like F major seven voicing up here. So it'd be like, that's what it sounds like in the studio version. But again, I'm just gonna show you guys some chords that you can play along the song with in loop if it's just one person. Patty is actually playing the, the root notes down here. So we're just gonna combine those. Next chord is B flat minor. And the last chord is a G flat major. And so for the verse, it's gonna go B. And the next time we're gonna go reverse, we're gonna go like that. And the pre-chorus is gonna just pause on the G flat major there. We'll reverse it for the chorus, right? So for the chorus, we'll actually start with the G flat major, go up to B flat minor, and come back to, and then we'll reverse it during the chorus. Like we did the verse, but just in reverse. There are a couple of licks in there, which I fit in to the intro. And how I played those is like this, which, um, you know, you just hit that D sus two, and then you come up two frets, and I'm gonna play A string, six fret, A fret, D string six, slide up to eight and back down really quickly. So it'd be, and we'll end on eight of the A string. So into the B flat minor and G flat major. Also you can play double stops. Like I like to play a double stop right there, which is just barring the G and D strings here. Um, so to the, and the second one I like to play um, is D sus. I'll just bar all these strings on the sixth fret, my index finger, and I'll go E string, you know, sixth fret, ninth fret, and then B string, sixth fret. So into the B minor, G flat major. Those are gonna be your main chords that we're gonna loop. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the chords for the acoustic part that I played in the intro, where you can actually hear there's an acoustic guitar coming on. Just a slightly different chord progression there for the bridge. So let's go on and learn that part. All right, so for the bridge, we're gonna start on the D sus two. And I'm gonna go actually to this A flat major. Go down to the G flat major then up to the B flat minor. And the second time around, same thing. G flat major, and we'll just pause right there. And then we go to this section right here. It starts on the B flat minor, down to A flat major, down to G flat major. Play that twice. Now we're into the final chorus. And because it's a chorus, right, 
We're gonna start on the D sus two. We're gonna start with the G flat major and go up to B flat minor. And then the second time around, reverse, right? Same thing, reverse, G flat major. And the last time is gonna be B flat minor, G flat major. And we'll end the song with that D sus two. All right, so that's all your chords. Stick around, because in the next part, I'm gonna show you guys all the Freddie Krabs licks on my Strat. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys all of Freddie Krabs' licks that he plays on the keyboard, which I've transposed to guitar for the intro. So I'm gonna put the tabs up right here, and we'll just go through it fast. I'll show you the fingering and everything and, and how I like to play it. Something I wanna mention about this loop is we're gonna be playing this over the chorus chords. So if you remember what I said for the rhythm section, for the chorus, we're gonna start on the D sus two, and then hit that G flat major to the B flat minor. Again, it's just reverse order of the verse. So you might have noticed on the intro, I came in on the second half of that loop, which starts on that G flat major and goes up to the B flat minor. Again, that's how the chorus is played. So the first part, I'm gonna start with my middle finger on the 14th fret of B string. second part he's going to play later on in the song which is going to start way down here on the shoot what is this 21st fret and now we're on to this little b minor pentatonic lick So those two parts together. And that's your song.